This three-minute egg is made possible from a generous grant by Ramon, the Minnesota Jewish Arts Council. Two women, two Jewish artists, both inspired by text in their latest work. First, we meet Georgette Sosin, who's commenting on the common spiritual roots of Judaism and Christianity in a new exhibition at the Sabus Jewish Community Center. And then we meet Robin Stoller Awend, who traveled to Lithuania's Vilna Ghetto to research her latest exhibition at Form and Content Gallery. Both exhibitions on this three minute egg. The Lord's Prayer was inspired by a book called The Prayers of the Cosmos. And it's written by Neil Douglas Klotz. And uh, through a period of lots of stress and uh, illness and all sorts of things, it uh, was one of the few things I could read that year. This book was what really brought forth um, this idea that there is a big connection here that people don't talk about. And I never knew, for instance, that the Kaddish was in Aramaic. It's not in Hebrew, and uh, most people don't know that. I would say that these works are a little bit more connected to the earth. It has to do with transformation of our material selves into energy. And there are a lot of parallels between Judaism and Christianity spring from the same roots, and so that's really what the exhibit is about. When I first heard about the the Jews melting down lead tight to make bullets for survival, being a contemporary letterpress printer today and cherishing the little bit of Hebrew type that exists now, I became so interested in this idea of Jews actually having to melt down type, which printed their their books and um, all these important documents for survival. My work is always based on research, and so I knew that the more research I did, the more imagery I would be able to come up with to then create my work. I realized that it would be important for me to actually travel to Vilna so that I could stand on the ground of this place that I was going to be talking about and, and that I've been learning about to collect the research, to get the imagery, to then inspire the work. The poem originally inspired me and, and it talks about the Jews having to melt down bullets for survival and I thought it would be very powerful to actually have those in a tangible form and learning the process of actually going through this casting work and, and physically doing them was actually a really important part of this process. There are a series of prints and a series of photographs and then the bullets. And the photographs and the prints are in some way interchangeable in the sense that all of the photographs that I took um, were, then I selected some out and then tr used the letterpress process to take that photograph and transfer it into the letterpress print. So I actually have photographs that I took layered into my prints. This is just a starting point in a way for me with this subject matter and, and I don't know where it's going to lead but um, that's the great thing about art is that you start somewhere and then it leads you somewhere else and somewhere else that you could never imagine.